Hey, I'm Skyler. If you just got a new iPhone and you're wondering how you get all your stuff from your old iPhone to the new one, why don't you follow me down the rabbit hole? I'm just gonna unlock my phone and we're gonna check something. So go to settings and scroll down a little bit till you see iCloud. If you're signed into iCloud, scroll down to the bottom and tap storage and backup. This, by the way, is on your old phone. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom and see if it says last backup. If it doesn't, what you can do is switch iCloud backup on and tap backup now. That's assuming you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now, let's say that you don't have your old phone with you and you just want to check to see if you do have an iCloud backup and when it was last made. Well, if you tap settings and you go to iCloud, you sign in with your Apple ID. Make sure you sign into iCloud on your new device. Then go down to storage and backup and tap manage storage. Under manage storage, it shows you all of the backups that are associated with your Apple ID. So in my case, I can see my old iPhone. Oh, 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 right? 1.6 gigabytes. So if I tap that, it shows me that I have a backup. And if I went to, let's see, settings, general, reset, and I reset all settings, my phone would take me back to those first linen screens of startup, and I would have an opportunity to sign with my iCloud account and choose one of those backups from which to restore my iPhone. Now, back to iCloud, documents and data. That means all of the data that's stored in your applications as well as documents that are stored in things like pages, keynote, numbers, and any other application that's set up to use the iCloud protocol. So the way iCloud backups works is that if you've downloaded a bunch of apps, the iTunes store knows which apps you've downloaded. And so once you sign in to your backup and you activate the phone, all of those apps start to download again. Now, under your iCloud settings, if you had documents and data set up, it'll get all of the information that you had stored in those apps as well. So that's the easiest way to retrieve information from your apps that you had on a previous phone on your new phone. It'll be virtually identical once you restore from a backup to what you had before. And I say virtually only because if you went from, say, an iPhone 4S to an iPhone 5, you'll find that there are more icons per each screen, etc. Little things like that that you may have to reset or tweak or recustomize or just reinvent. Uh, that's pretty much it. The other way to do that is through iTunes. So if you don't have iCloud or say you're coming from an iPhone 3G or an iPhone 4 that uh, never upgraded to iOS 5, what you want to do is plug the phone into your computer, either Mac or PC, and assuming that you have iTunes installed and that it's up to date, iTunes would sync the phone and make a backup. Then you would plug your new phone into iTunes, and during the first two setup screens, it asks you if you want to restore from a backup. So you just click Restore from Backup, choose the one you want, and restore it. That way it can be a little bit trickier if you don't have a computer or if you haven't been syncing your phone for some time. So the best method in my opinion and experience is to use iCloud. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.